Welcome to my house, welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda from Mexico and I'm very happy to have all of you again like every Wednesday in my channel. Today, I will show you how to crochet a baby jacket with this new material and with this new color that I love and that this material is perfect and unique for babies so you don't have to worry about it. It's perfect and it fits perfectly for your needs, okay? This will be the first part. Then I will show you the second part where I will show you how to crochet a baby blanket with the same material and with the same color and with this we can complete this outfit, okay? So we are going to make first the jacket and then we will complete this whole outfit with a baby blanket that I will show you in the next video of the next Wednesday, okay? So stay tuned and see you next Wednesday if you want to complete this outfit well as you know now the winter is coming and it is time and we have to get ready to give the welcome for this new season but we don't have to forget that we have to make also garments for kids and for babies especially because they suffer a lot in this in this season if we don't cover them very well so this is a very unique and very easy and fast garment that you can make for your babies, okay? So, I will show you step by step how we are going to make it. Be ready and remember that if you want to buy this material, I will leave you the address when you can buy it, okay? Well, we are going to need 100 grams of one skein of yarn of this material i will use a kitting of alice in this color and a crochet hook of number four millimeters so let's start right away we are going to start this jacket from the color and we are going to make 60 chains 60 base chains so we are going to tie the first one a little bit and from here we are going to start counting 60 okay remember to make them a little bit loose okay once you have the 60 chains we are going to grab our yarn and we are going to skip three stitches and we are going to take the below part of the chain and we are going to make one extended double crochet chain two and again, you are going to skip one and you are going to make two extended double crochet in each chain, like this. Again, chain two, skip one and two extended double crochet. And we are going to continue like this the whole row until we have 20 of this one, these little holes. Well, here I finished the row, I already counted and I have 20 of these little holes. Now, I'm going to continue with the next row, turn around. We are going to make one row of single crochet and here where is the box, we are going to make two. Two single crochets, look. One single crochet in each extended double crochet and then we are going to make two inside the box like this okay remember to insert the hook where it belongs and like this we are going to continue the whole row at the end of the row turn around now chain three you are going to skip one and in the second one you are going to insert the hook and you are going to make one extended double crochet again chain three and here we are going to make three extended double crochet together one two and three and again grab your yarn leave one and in the next one make one extended double crochet three chain and here we are going to make three extended double crochet together you have to remember this stitch because I'm going to use the same stitch to make the baby blanket. And like this the whole row. Here we crochet, and then we leave one space and again we crochet. Well, when you finish the row, you have to count, count them and you have to have at the end 40 of this one. 
and here in the last stitch you are going to make one extended double crochet to close the row. Always taking both parts of the chain, then turn around and chain 4. One, two, three, and four, and here one single crochet. So to go up, we've made four chains. Now to continue crocheting, we are going to make three chains. Again, one single crochet, then three chains, one single crochet, and again three chains. And like this, the whole row. When you finish the row, chain 2 and you are going to make the final extended double crochet here to close the row. This step is very important because like this we are going to continue having a straight our edge, okay? Chain 3 and we are going to repeat the row that we made before, remember this one. One extended double crochet, 3 chains and 3 extended double crochet over the last extended double crochet to remember each extended double crochet is of three crochets then three and again one extended double crochet three chains and over this one three extended double crochet one two and three extended double crochet of three crochets okay and so far it has to look like this so we will have three rows like this one and two rows of single crochet and after this we are going to divide for the armhole okay if you feel that you are making this too big don't worry because from here remember that we have to make the back and the sleeves so it's okay with 14 uh, squares well so let's continue so far i love how it looks don't worry if you feel that it's too big it will be okay at the end so let's continue remember that we have to make three rows of squares and two rows of chains look here i finished it three rows of squares and then i made two rows more of single crochet now from here we are going to divide to form the armhole okay we are going to make the chains row until here and see you when we finished, okay? Look here I finished. To start the row I made four chains, then I made one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then chain three, and we are going to skip one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight squares. And we are going to insert in the ninth. And this will be the slip, okay? So we are going to continue crocheting. And like this is like we form the slip, okay? We are going to make the same in the other side. Look for the back, we are going to need 12 squares. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And we are going to skip eight squares like we made in the other sleeve, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And in the ninth, we are going to insert the hook. And here we are going to close to form the sleeve. And this will be our front. Six, two, four, and six. So we are going to continue. So we finished the row. Remember that at the end of the row we are going to chain two and we are going to make the lux extended double crochet. And then we are going to continue with the next row. The row is going to be of a square. So chain three to go up. Grab your yarn. And we are going to continue until here because here I'm going to stop and I'm going to explain you because we are going to increase, okay? 
When we are up to the armhole, we are going to make two squares more here to increase. So insert a hook here, one extended double crochet, three chains, and the three extended double crochet together. We are making this to create an A shape in our jacket, okay? So we, at the end it will look so beautiful. So we are going to increase two squares here in the armhole. Look, I'm mean, using the same stitch and everything. And like this we are going to create an amazing shape because if not it will look like a tube so it won't look good. At the end we are going to continue like we were making before, okay? And we are going to make the same in the other sleeve, okay? Below the armhole. We are going to increase two. And here, the sleeve, we are not going to crochet anything else. We are just going to crochet um, this, the body. Okay, so be careful and don't crochet the sleeve, okay? Well, so far it has to look like this. Here we leave these squares for the sleeves. And here we increase two squares to create the A shape. And we made the same in the other side. We increase two squares in this chain. And now it won't look like a square. It will create an amazing A shape. And with the colors and with this yarn, it will look so beautiful, your jacket. We are going to continue making five rows of squares and four rows of chains. Or you can make more rows until you obtain the long of your jacket, okay? In my case, I'm going to make four rows more. Here, I already made one. So, let's continue. Look, here I finished the row. I made one, two, three, four, and five rows of the square, and four rows of chains. So, now we are going to continue with this slip. So, here, with one thread and with your hook, insert. And here, in the middle of the last, uh, increases that we made we are going to continue making the same stitch that we were making before so chain three and insert a hook in the first square and we are going to make one row of chains all around the sleeve well I'm going to continue like this all around the sleeve and see you when we arrive here. Look, at the end of the row, we are going to insert a hook here. Chain three. Take one extended double crochet. And we are going to make the same stitch, okay? Three extended double crochet inside these three chains. And like this, making one row of squares and one row of chains, we are going to make the slip. Here I get ahead and we are going to make one row less than we made for the body, okay? So I made four rows and three rows of chains. So we are going to continue like this and then I will show you how we are going to make the cuff, okay? have to pay attention and you have to count that you have the same number of square all around the sleeve. Look, here I place the first one, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine squares you have to have. Before I continue, I wanted to show you where you are going to close the row, okay? Because sometimes we made a mistake. We are going to insert the hook here. Then we are going to slip one until here to start the next row. So it will be the chains row. 
and like this we are going to continue remember we are going to make four rows of two squares with chains look here I finished the rows for the slip I made one two three and four now the last row of the sleeves we are going to make we are going to make one chain and one single crochet then one chain and one single crochet to close the cuff a little bit and like this the whole row look here I finished the row with one single crochet and one chain now we are going to make two single crochet in each space like this and like this the whole row okay so let's continue When you finish the row, you are going to continue making one single crochet over the other. Like these two rows more. Look at the end, you are just going to make one chain and pull. And like this, you will finish the cuff. And well, so far it has to look like this. Look at the colors, I love how it looks. Now I will show you how we are going to make the last rows to give this jacket a final touch. But so far it has to look like this. And now to continue we are going to make one row of single crochet all around this front part, okay? So you are going to insert the hook, I already get ahead a little bit. I made two, then one, and like this. I started two and one, two and one, and you have to be careful and you have to take care that you didn't create pleats while you are making this, okay? And like this all around it in the color and in this side too. In the color you are going to make two single crochet in each space, okay? To reduce a little bit the white of, a, of the color, okay? And like this, let's continue all around the color. At the end of the row of single crochet, we are going to come back making crab stitch. I will show you how we are going to make it, okay? So the crab stitch is like this. And again. Insert the hook, grab your yarn, and bring them through. I would do it again, okay? So look. And like this, we are going to make all around the front part. I love this stitch, it's very simple. It's like if you were a single crochet, but going backwards, okay? So it's very simple and we are going to continue like this and this will be the final touch for our jacket well with this we will finish the garment and i hope that you have enjoyed making this jacket with me i will show you how it looks at the end so see you when i finish so what do you think i love it how it looks remember at the end to hide all of these threads and then you can place some buttons here or you can use a ribbon to decor this beautiful jacket. I love it. Remember that this is the first part. Then I will show you how to make and how to complete this outfit with the baby blanket. I will use the same stitch and I will use the same yarn but I will teach you how in other video. Okay, in the, the next one that I will show you how we are going to make it. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please leave me a comment shred and i'll promise i will make more videos please comment if you have any idea that you want me to make please leave it here and i will try to make it and of course if you have any other doubt please contact us uh, i receive a lot of questions where i get or where I, you can get these materials but remember that we have the warehouse that is in madrid there you can see it and you can buy it, I will leave the address here where you can visit us also if you live far away from Spain 
well you can contact us and you can buy these materials online in www.lauracepeda.es and there you can see the whole cargo there you can find all my magazines and all the accessories and all the different yarns that we have especially for babies and remember now now in this october in october 2019 we are going to be in creativa madrid if you can go we will be very happy to see you there it is a creative fair in madrid spain here i will leave the address when you can visit us and we are going to be in the stand and be with all the materials and all the accessories so if you like this video give me a like subscribe and don't forget to leave all your comments as I told you if you like it also share it I will be very happy and very glad to see all your comments thank you and see you the next Wednesday bye